What's a commonly taught historical fact that just isn't true? Columbus had trouble getting funding for his voyages because everyone thought the world was flat and he'd sail off the edge. Most everyone knew the world was round and had a pretty good idea of its size. They thought he'd run out of food and water before he could reach the Indies because of the vast distance. He thought the world was much smaller than it is and could sail there in time. IOW, he was very wrong, but lucky. Most of the well-known medieval torture devices never really existed. There's no mention of the Iron Maiden in history texts prior to the late 18th century, and all known examples of the device are forgeries or replicas created around the same time. Similarly, there are no authentic examples of the pair of anguish, nor is the device attested to in any medieval records. The various examples that are on display in various dubious museums are almost certainly of much more recent construction, and would not function as described anyway. Napoleon being a short king The Gutenberg Bible is not the first book printed using metal movable type. The first book printed using movable metal type is Jitji from Korea. It was printed during the Goryeo dynasty and published in Hyung Deok Temple in 1377, which is 78 years prior to Johannes Gutenberg's acclaimed 42-line Bible printed during the years 1452-1455. UNESCO confirmed Jikji as the world's oldest metalloid type in September 2001 and includes it in the memory of the world program. Lemmings don't actually follow each other mindlessly. That horrible documentary that showed they do involved the director literally throwing lemmings off the cliff to make it look real. Lady Godiva didn't ride a horse naked through city streets. It was as made up as George Washington chopping down a cherry tree as a kid. Godiva and her husband were quite the philanthropists. George Washington Carver invented peanut butter. George Washington Carver invented over 300 uses of peanuts but peanut butter was not one. Peanut butter has been shown to have been used by indigenous cultures of the Americas prior to colonization. Just think about it. Peanut butter is just crushed peanuts it's not rocket science. George Washington did not have wooden teeth. Guess what his replacement teeth were? The the ancient world wasn't interconnected. Afghanistan metals were found at British Isles before the advent of bronze. Not sure if it's common, but my history teacher told us that the man, Charles Sweeney, who dropped the bomb on Nagasaki later spiraled into regret and depression over his actions. In fact, he actually wrote a book later in life still defending his actions to clear up any doubt. I remember learning about Paul Revere being like this lone hero type person but he didn't even finish the midnight ride and was just more well known than the others at the time. Marie Antoinette said let them eat cake. Controversial but 6 million people were murdered by the Nazis. This is the amount of Jewish people murdered. The total number murdered is nearer 11 million. Thomas Edison did not invent the light bulb and was by all accounts a massive D-bag. That Elizabeth Bathory killed 600 virgins and bathed in their blood, giving her the moniker the Blood Countess. It was a smear campaign at the time to oust her from her position and claims on various royal appointments. It's a cool story, though. Jewish slaves built the pyramids in Giza, Egypt The vast majority of Egyptologists agree this wasn't the case. Terran Elias Australia was colonized by declaring no people lived here, so no treaties were made with the indigenous people living here. The Library of Alexandria wasn't destroyed in a great fire. It did apparently catch fire during an attack by Caesar but wasn't destroyed and was instead actually undone over centuries due to neglect and lack of funding. People often think something false in the public consciousness was taught to them in school. People have to keep reading. Your high school history classes from 30 years ago should not be your major resource of knowledge about the past. Spanish flu didn't originate in Spain. It was just hit hard by it in the early stages. Napoleon had no part in disfiguring the great sphinx of Giza's nose. 
that the pilgrims left England to escape a tyrannical theocratic regime, for a life of freedom in the new world. They left England because they wanted to start one. England was fairly liberal at the time and most people in Europe thought the Puritans were batshit crazy, and were happy to see them leave. During the Potato Famine in 1845 Queen Victoria donated just five to the Irish and the very same day donated five to the Battersea Dogs Home. She actually donated 2,000 of her own personal money and sent out several rounds of letters encouraging others to donate, raising thousands more. Additionally the Battersea Dogs Home wasn't founded until 1860. The English and their monarchs have historically treated Ireland and the Irish like utter shit, but you can't fault Victoria on that particular point. Actual castles from the Middle Ages were not very nice to live in cause they were primarily military forts. During the Renaissance when cannons made castles almost worthless for defensive purposes they began to change into the fancy homes we now know. The Disney ones are based on castles made in the mid-19th century by King Ludwig II who loved fairy tales and were purely for show. The pyramids in ancient Egypt were not built by slaves, they were built by highly respected workers who enjoyed many on-site amenities and often got buried alongside after their death. That generals of the First World War were incompetent and safe and stay far away from the front lines. In actuality, almost all generals, at least on the French and German side, have spent time in the trenches in the first years of the war. And if we're looking at percentages that got killed, statistically speaking you were just as likely to die as a commanding officer as you were as a soldier. However, you had the most chance to die if you were a captain. That General Custer was a great Indian fighter and hero. In fact he was a loathsome drunk who crept in at just before dawn and killed sleeping villages of women children and old people while the braves were known to be away. He then inflated the number of savages he heroically killed to the delight of the yellow journalism eastern papers and their manifest destiny narratives. He was a low-life murderer and nothing more. All of the horrible stuff Columbus did wasn't actually the normal for the time. Queen Isabella had him arrested upon return for his brutal treatment of the native people on the Bahamas. That people died by age 30 because nobody understands how life expectancy works or how child mortality factors in. Strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Supreme executive power derives from a mandate from the masses, not from some farcical aquatic ceremony. I'm the UK we are taught that Britain and America won WW2. We tend to forget the Eastern Front and just how vital Russia was to defeating Germany. I was taught in middle school history about the war of northern aggression the southern US states seceded to protect their state's right to self-govern, and the US attacked first at Sumter. Not really a historical fact but one I find interesting. Steve Jobs was just a good Salesian's PR guy. Steve Wozniak was the genius behind Apple. Without him there would never have been an Apple computer. Furthermore Bill Gates stole the file system that Apple used and created Windows. Now I'm sure I will be corrected by Bill Gates fans but the main fact is that Wozniak was indeed the GOAT. Native Americans were peaceful got along before European settlers showed up. Notre Dame coach Devine always wanted all players to play at least one snap. Never was against Rudy to play. Didn't have to be pressured by a chanting crowd which didn't happen. Players didn't come into coach's office to turn in their journey. Queen Elizabeth I didn't want to marry the fact is her court blocked a lot of the marriage proposals during her reign simply because English law meant that she would no longer be our ruler when she got married and they didn't want a foreigner as king. No proof exists of Betsy Ross designing and creating the first Star Stripes American flag. The first mentions of the whole idea didn't turn up until 100 years after it would have occurred. The US history section of My My World Almanac concisely wrote. That Emperor Constantine called the Council of Nisha to create the Catholic Church and create Edit the Bible. He had absolutely nothing to do with either. The Council of Nisha ONLY dealt with settling the Arianism heresy. 
Christopher Columbus did not discover America. That Paul Revere shouted the British are coming. And the Boston Tea Party was because of a tax rise. It was actually a tax cut that undermined local smugglers. Stephen Hawking was a brilliant theoretical physicist. He was likely average in the field. Most of his work was done by assistants whose work he co-authored. He did bring in a lot of donations for Cambridge via fundraisers. We romanticize the notion of a man so brilliant that his mind remained agile while his body atrophied. We project that fantasy onto him. But his contributions to his field were average. I feel like everyone here should provide sources if they're making all these claims. King Henry VIII divorced two of his wives. Divorce wasn't possible, this is one of the reasons he destroyed and took over the church. Since divorce wasn't possible, he had his marriage annulled. So technically he only had four wives. That Napoleon was short. It's not mistaught, it's more like not taught. I only knew 35 million Chinese were killed during the Second Sino-Japanese War when my dad gave me a book about it when I was in high school, my school only briefly mentioned during WW2 Nanjing Massacre had 300,000 PPL slaughtered. The Hitler had one ball myth came from a song the Allies would sing to help troops remember the top targets' names. In the original version Goring had only one ball. Hitler had two but very small. Cleopatra was not black. She was Greek. She was a direct descendant of Alexander the Great's general. Polish hussars wore wings in battle that's a big lie. Those were meant only for parades if one tried to gallop with this thing on they would either break the wings or break themselves falling from the horse never tried those wings on but I do ride horses. That Paul Revere rode through town shouting the British are coming. Never happened. Much of the tale about his ride is false and based on a poem 100 years later. But colonists were British citizens, they would not say the British are coming he reportedly said the regulars are coming as that is what the British army was called. This is more of an uncommonly taught historical fact that is absolutely true and just isn't included in most curriculums among thousands of others. Since its inception, the United States government has broken every single treaty pact agreement that it is has ever made with any Native American tribe. The Scots fought the English at Culloden. Nope, mostly they fought the Scots. Royalists fought Jacobites yes. Catholics fought Protestant yes. Highland fought Lowland also yes. But the majority of forces on both sides was made up of Scots. My own family managed to fight on both sides, which was also pretty common. That peasant started the French Revolution. No. The peasants were dumb as fuck and genuinely believed the king had a divine right to rule. The French Revolution was actually a middle-class revolution fueled by the ideas of the Enlightenment meritocracy and reason, and so forth. Germany was never even close to winning WW2. The pilgrims didn't emigrate to New England for religious freedom. They had religious freedom in the Netherlands after England kicked them out. For being jerks. The parents didn't like seeing their children becoming Dutch. Slaps middle school books of world and American history. That the US Civil War was about anything but the South wanting to keep slaves it was northern aggression, states rights, etc.